In this tutorial, what I'll do is show you how to change multiple lights in one go. Now, this is handy, say if you had a scene with like 300 lights, um, I've got two types of light here, spotlight, point light. And what we wanna do is change the values of all of the point lights in one go. Um, obviously you can go through here selecting this, you know, but sometimes the naming conventions aren't practical. You know, they're not named point light one, two, three, four. They could be named door light, window light, etc., etc. And sometimes you don't want to be seeing all these rings. You want to get a, a, an idea of feel for the environment when you're creating it. Sometimes I use this, sometimes I don't, but I thought it'd be good to share. So what we'll do is we'll go to our content browser, right click, blueprint class, create an actor, give it a name. And actually I'll name that light changer point light. So this is just for our point light. So open that up, construction script, off of the construction script pin, drag out and type get all actors, and we'll get the get all actors of class. And then in the drop down, we want to select the drop down and type in point. So this is going to say so grab, uh, select point light, and what this is going to say is that basically find all of the lights in a scene that are of type point light. So you, if you want to switch to spotlight, you go spotlight, um, etc. So um, we'll use point light, and then off of the blue uh, out actors, drag out, type in four each, and you want the top for each loop. And make sure you plug that in as well at the top there, so these should be both plugged in. Now off of the array element, drag that out and type set intensity. Now you've got set intensity point light. Obviously it's a point light so we want to make sure it's that one. Uh, right. So what this does is this has created a um, new node here that will allow us to set the intensity of the light. Now what we can do is if we right click on new, ten uh, new intensity, promote it to a variable and give it a name so light intensity make sure we um, make it so it's public so we can see it and you'll see why that is in a minute and press compile save now close this window and what we want to do is drag this blueprint light changer that we've created into our scene so in theory all of the straight away you can see the point lights have all gone off now where we've made that light intensity public we can go over to the um, uh, details panel here and we can change the value here so we can suddenly say right we want a hundred brightness you can see all of the lights of a point light that type have changed there you can now um let's see if we can fiddle about with that make it brighter make it not so bright etc so you can see in instantly it's given you a, a feel of what's going on what we can also do is if we go into the light changer blueprint again drag off of the uh this and type in um color and we can go set light color there we go and we can promote this new light color to a variable and say light color make that public again save save compile save close that so now we've got another value over here where we can change the light color and they're all doing it so as you can see that's incredibly quick so what we'll do is if the spotlight we'll do the same we can go Blueprint class, actor, BP, spotlight, and we'll open that up, construction script, drag off, get all actors of class, drop down, spotlight, drag off of the blue for each, connect the two pins so these are both connected, off of the array element, type set intensity, spotlight, Plug those in, right click on new intensity, promote a variable, light intensity, make it public, drag off of this again, and type uh, color, set light color, promote the new light color, and set that to light color, compile, save, drag our spotlight in, so they've all gone off, we'll set the, um, oh, what I didn't do there, is on this variable here is make, uh, make sure it's public so you can visually see it so what I'll do is go to this type in a value of 100 give it a color so we're going to be blue and there we go and as you can see there they're all being changed we can go back to this one and say well actually I want this red 
Um, and then when you're done, what you can do is you can delete these because you don't want them running um, when you're actually playing a game, um, and it's done. So you only ever need to drag these in if you want to multiply you know, change multiple lights all in one go. It doesn't need to be there all the time. Um, some th sometimes I like to do so you know that they're what they are straight away. You can visually see them. Is if I go to uh, my viewport, add component, and type arrow um, straight away. Just turn the arrow upwards. Now straight away, if I go to my scene, I should. There we go. Have a little arrow. We can make that quite a bit bigger. So select the arrow. Arrow size. So we'll make that ten. So straight away, I know that that is a controller, um, light controller. So when I'm done with it, I can just literally select my arrow, bang, done. There. So hopefully that helps. If it has, please leave a like and maybe subscribe.